What's up guys? In today's video, I want to show you how to basically submit your form to a server using Redux form. So right over here, I have a Redux form all set up. Um, if you don't know how to set up a Redux form and basically call a submit function when your form is submitted. Um, so this is my submit function right here. It does a little bit of client side validation and I'm calling it from handle submit here in my little contact form. If you don't know how to do this, I have a prior video showing you how to uh, set this up and I'll link that in the description below. But what I want to show you now is how do I send this data to a server and basically have the server validate it and like if the server says there's an error, show that error on my client. So the first method of doing this I'm going to show you is with um, async and await. So this is just basically making a fetch call, and this is something that uh, React recommends. So this is actually a newer um, addition. Um, you can see if you're more familiar with uh, doing fetch and then doing then and catches and that sort of thing, we're going to use some of this new syntax, um, and I'll show you guys how this works. So we're just going to copy this. Um, this is from Facebook. Um, networking and I'll link this in the description below as well if you want to check out some different ways to go about doing this. So we're not going to really need that stuff anymore so I'm just going to put it to the side. So we can paste this up here. We're creating an async function and we're going to call this um, instead of movies I'm going to say submit to server and we'll just say pass in the data that we want. And now I basically have, um, right here you'd want to put in the URL to your server. I just have a server running locally, um, HP slash localhost 3030. And we're going to post to the register route. And then I'm going to pass it some data. Um, I first have to pass the method, which is post. And then I also need to pass in a body, and we just need to parse it because it needs to be, um, it's going to be JSON. So I'm going to pass in uh, stringify data, and then I also need headers, content type. We just need to specify as application slash JSON, I believe, is uh, for since we're passing JSON. So I just have a Feathers.js server running right now um, and the only thing it does is it accepts all requests to this route um, posts except if the first name and last name are the same. It'll basically pass an error back. So I'll show you how to basically show that error on the form. So this allows you to do a post request right here. I'm posting to this URL. Um, and if you're not familiar with how await um, and all these things. Basically in JavaScript, um, you're used to callbacks. Await allows you this. This is basically synchronous. Oops, this is synchronous. So response is, this is gonna block until this fetch is done, and it's gonna return the value right here. So it's gonna basically sit here until it's done. So it's gonna fetch this URL, it's gonna post this data, this JSON data that we're gonna pass in um, to the server. And then we just have to specify it as a header that we're passing in JSON. And then right here we wait for the um, JSON to uh, get the JSON. And then we just can return response.json. And then we can console log if we get an error. So this is how we're basically going to call the server right here. And now we can actually call it from our submit. So now we can say, we can get rid of this submit to server and then I'm just going to pass in uh, our data so first name last name and email and I'm going to do dot then see what data and just console.log the data so now we can move this back over here and we can come on over to our form Oh, and it looks like we just have a syntax error. So let's go back to our guy up here, and I just need to add a comma to the 
json and then last name needs to be uppercase oops i'm sorry i just hopped around way too much last name right here needs to be uppercase okay so now bob bob2 bob at bob.com if i submit this we get a response back and it looks nice. It looks as what we expected. We get an ID of the object, inserts into the database, okay, it's valid. So in that case, um, as the client, you could now, if you get this data back and it's okay, you can, let's just put that here. You could um, dispatch an action if you wanted to and update the Redux state or um, you're pretty much fine. If it submits okay, you could then maybe go to the next page if you wanted to. But if you're doing, if you get to this point and it submits okay, you're good. But what happens if we get an error? Let's say I say my first name is Bob and my last name is Bob. Yeah, Bob.com. So if I submit, oh no, we get an error, bad request object, and we see errors. Um, so and you can see, notice how this is last name. This is matching up with the name there. That's gonna be important and allows us basically easier error. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if data dot errors. So if basically we get errors else console.log server um, added data to database, we'll say. If we're getting an error, what we want to do is we just want to throw new submission error and pass in data.errors. And so what that's going to do is after um, it gets messed up, it's going to come over here to last name. It's going to say, you cannot be the same as first name. So we do Bob, oops, Bob, 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 and we submit. Oops, and looks like uncaught promise submission error. Oh, dude, is this like the wrong? Let's see what let's see what happened here. Last name has to be uncaught and promise. Is it because we're throwing a new error in the promise and it doesn't like that? So if we come back over here. Oh, we, instead of throw new, I think we just throw. So this is their um, Redux form example for async. Let's do Bob at Bob. Okay, it still does not like it. Well, let's go back here and just look at their example. So they're doing it in a dot then. So that looks okay. Oh, haha. <laughs> I need to return this promise. All right, so I believe now it should work okay. Bob, Bob, I hate how it cuts off the B. At first, submit. Still doesn't like it. So let's see what our difference is with this example. So a new promise, they do that, they're returning a promise, and then they're doing dot then, and they're throwing this. Server, do we need to return something if it's correct maybe? Async validate. We want to do this on submission. This is the render field. Handle submit, handle submit. If we come back over here, we can go to submit validation. I want to see if they have a async submit over here. Nope, they just have a regular submit validation. Oh no, here they do. Okay, so I do throw a new 
throw new submission error. I think I just had the syntax slightly wrong. Bob at Bob. And there we go. Okay, so this is working now. So as you can see, Redux form is a little tricky. So this is what you need to do to make sure it works. So we need to return our recall to this async function. And then we need to check if we're getting any errors. And if we are, we throw a new submission error and we pass in the object. And now um, you want to make sure, now my object is um, nicely formatted. So if we console.log data.errors, it gives us a nice object that's already formatted to the last name. Let's say Bob, Bob, Bob. So you notice how it already says last name here. But let's say you wanted um, this to throw the error for the first name. All you would do is say first name is equal to data.errors.last name. And then this would move the error from happening here to happen up here. So now if we do Bob, Bob. Now the error is up here. Now if we change it, resubmit, it submits just fine. So that's how you can do um, server validation call once you submit. So you go ahead and you, um, we have some checks on the client side that I'm doing. And once the client side is approved, we basically make a, a call to our server. Um, we're posting this data and then we're saying we check the response from the server. We say if there's any errors in the response that the server gives us, we uh, throw the submission error so we can show it in our form. Else it's fine and we can do whatever we want. So that's how you do, um, this is one way to do um, server submission. There's also other ways to do it. We were using um, an async function up here, but you notice this async function is inside of um, the component. We could basically put this in our file, but they're kind of muddled together and you don't want your async code and your component code together. This is actually not a great way to do it. Instead, I recommend using a library like Redux Form, or not Redux Form, Redux Saga or Redux Observable, which are some libraries to help you integrate this with Redux. Um, and I'll be sh making some videos showing you how to do it with those. Um, but this is a fine way to do it if you're just starting out and you want to do some async uh, coding and make calls to the server. So I hope this helps. Um, if you guys have any questions or have trouble setting this up, because as you saw, even I had a little trouble setting this up, please leave a comment below and I'd be happy to help you guys out. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.